and welcome to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about making migrations and migrate in the Django. So you might be wondering, what the hell is that? Well, <clears throat> if you never worked with the Django before, there's two commands that we normally use together to create our databases after we've read our models.py, which we did in the previous tutorial. When we write our models.py here, if we don't give any commands to um, to Django project itself, it won't be able to understand what we want our database to look like. So there's two commands. The first one is make migrations, and that's normally the one you run first. And make migrations does is takes our Python code here that we wrote in our models.py file and packages it packages it up and um, converts it to SQL code. Um, if you ever worked with any other type of um, database like an SQL, you know that reading and writing um, SQL is a little difficult. So what the Django does is, hey, let's keep this all in Python with the models.py here. Let's let the user or the developer create their uh, database in Python and what we're going to do is build a little program which we run by running make migrations and that command will run a class which will go ahead and convert it to SQL and then once it's created to SQL then we run another command called migrate and what migrate does is grabs that SQL and injects it into our database basically just go ahead and um, installs it into the database. So when we run, when we make a change to our models.py, we normally have to run make migrations command, and then after we run the make migrations command, then we run uh, migrate. So let's take a closer look at this. First off, before this will even be able to work, we have to make sure that our app is in our settings file as installed apps. Now we did this in a previous tutorial and I've noticed people have been jumping around and asking a lot of questions like, hey, when did you do this? Well, if you're skipping around these tutorials on the Django, you're going to get lost and confused. So before we can even migrate our models, we have to go to settings.py and look inside our installed apps. And if you have this lessons um, in a string format, then you're good to go because it's an installed app. And now when we run the command, uh, the Django will know to look in there at our models.py file. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your terminal. Inside your terminal, we're going to go ahead and make sure where we are in our uh, manage the directory that um, contains manage.py. So to do that, you just type the ls and you would see manage.py in here. I do not see mine, so I'm going to cd into base and then ls again and now I see my manage.py alright so like I said the first command we always run is make migrations because we want the Django to go ahead and grab our Python code that in the models.py bundle it up and convert it to SQL so to do that we're gonna go ahead and do Python manage.py make migrations alright then I'm gonna say lessons at the end here and this is an optional here for the apps you could say make migrations across the board and if you're not um, if you have a bunch of apps that you're working on at one time and a couple of the migrations and you're not ready to migrate yet if you do make migrations it's gonna make migrations for every app that hasn't been migrated yet that's in our settings.py file so all these apps here we already migrated these but if they weren't migrated, it would actually go ahead and make migrations for them. But since the only one we want to do is lessons, we're just going to put lessons. It's good practice, so you're not migrating stuff that's not finished yet. All right, so let's go back to our terminal and hit return. And it's going to go ahead and migrate our migrations, or it should have. And I have an error somewhere. So I expect to do where auto add now. Hold on one second. And that's what you get when you and 
and that's the kind of error we get when we make an um, error in our code. So instead of auto add now, it should be auto now add. So we'll go ahead and change that and auto now add. All right, so I'll go ahead and save that. And if I go back to my terminal, you can see I got a type error in it, got an unexpected keyword argument of auto add now. So that's where I knew where the problem was and went to it. All right, so when you get an error, when you're working with the Django, most of the time your error would be explained to you in some sort of um, content in this message. Now, I know it could be overwhelming when you're looking at this going, what the heck does this all mean? But towards the bottom, usually you will get a keyword argument error for our keyword or any other error that you might have. So it's good to check here before you start tearing your code apart. All right, so let's go ahead and run that again. So Python, oops, Python manage.py make migration migrations lessons. All right. So this should work this time. There we go. And it says migrations for lessons. 001 underscore initial dot py. Now this file is created when we run the make migrations file. And we can look at it, it's in Python code, and it kind of shows the setup of what our, um, our code going to the database is gonna look like. So if you go into your migrations file inside your lessons, you can take a look at this. In here you see we got uh, the Django.db, so our database uh, module, import migrations and models. So what's going on here? Well, this is a class for migrations. And what it does, it says is the initial um, migrate. So it's true. Uh, dependencies, we don't have any. So here's our operations. And it says create model. The name of the model is going to be lessons. So this is our table. Our table is going to be called lessons. And then the fields on the inside are um, ID, which is automatically created with each table. So we didn't create that, but it's automatically created. And then our, our next one we created was title. You can see it's basically the same thing we have is models, char field, max length 250, and then slug models, slug field, max length 250. The body with the text field, there's no uh, arguments there. And then um, auto now add true, auto now true, and then our status with uh, our choices draft, draft, publish publish draft and max length of 10 you notice this is a little different setup than what we wrote in our code but that's the way um, migrate is going to grab our code and create SQL code all right so <clears throat> now that we have this and this is human editable so we could actually go in and edit this if we wanted to before we migrate it but if you went and did uh, make migrations again later on and then migrate it again it's probably going to overwrite your um, code that you previously edited but you can if you'd like to um, so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the actual SQL code um, to do that we're gonna run another command and this command we don't use quite often uh, actually I rarely use it but if you want to take a look at what the SQL code looks like you can do that and it's uh, python manage.py sql migrate and then lessons and then the uh, migration number which in this case is 0001 so back to my terminal and I do 0001 hit return <clears throat> and now it's going to bring up the sql code now if you ever worked with sql like build a database in PHP or something, you would notice this looks kind of familiar to you. So we create a table, lessons, lessons, has an ID, integer, not null, primary key, and all that stuff. Auto increment, title, varchar, varchar, I'm sorry, non null, so it can't be uh, empty. Slug, varchar, not null, can't be empty. Body, text, not null, can't be empty. Create it, date, time, not null, can't be empty. Update, date, time, not null. And then status var char, not null. So not null means it can't be empty. And we create a table called lesson. All right, 
lesson, not lessons. All right, so this is the SQL code. So if we want to write just the SQL code, this is what it would look like. But we don't have to do that in Django because Django does it for us. So right now, what we did was basically just packaged up our code from models.py, which we had over here, our models.py code. We packaged it up and it created this file. All right, when we access this file, the output looks like this the SQL code over here all right and this is what the database can read the database cannot read this file nor this file but it can read this file so when we run migrate when we run Python manage.py migrate lessons it's going to take this code and inject it into our database and then the database is going to be able to uh, create our, our maintain our data I should say um, it's not going to be able to create our data or maintain our data by storing it, deleting it, create, and letting us create it, so and editing it. So it gives us a lot of options. But this is the code the database understands. And the way we inject that is Python manage.py uh, migrate lessons. All right. Same thing if we left this blank right here. If I left that off it would migrate all our apps but we don't want to do that just in case we're not ready to migrate an app so get in the habit of just migrating one app at a time and it also if you run into an error like I did before that I sh showed you that I uh, screwed up um, if you run into an error with several different apps it's gonna be harder to figure out which ones are kicking back errors because you're gonna have to read through all this uh, up here this jumbo mess up here so if you just do one at a time it's gonna be easier to maintain so we're gonna do python manage.py mi migrate lessons hit return and it's gonna go ahead and migrate so it says operations to form apply all migrations lessons run in migrations rendering model stat states done apply lesson zero zero one underscore initial okay so that's our um, file that we're looking at over here. So it applied that. And like I said, it takes the SQL version that this class creates. Now, <clears throat> I hope that's not all overwhelming. So, you know, the thing to remember is when you make a change to your database or to your models.py, which uh, we can right now, actually, just to practice here, well, let's go ahead and say, SEO title equals models dot char field and we'll do max length. Alright, and this is one we're gonna actually use in our in our uh, website that we, for learn Python tutorial. And there's a couple more we're gonna add in here eventually, but not in today's tutorial. So I'm gonna show you what we do. Alright, so we add SEO title, alright, models dot char field. We add that in now we go in here and go python manage.py make migrations lessons all right hit return and then we get this um warning here you're trying to add a non-nullable field the seo title to lessons without a default we cannot do that. The database needs something to populate an existing rows. So we're creating a new row and it needs something in there. So we can provide a one-off default now that will be set on all existing rows or we can quit and add a default in the models.py. Let's go ahead and uh, add a new one. So we're just gonna do SEO title. All right, hit return. Oh, sorry. Got to hit one first. And then go string SEO title. And we'll fix this later. All right. So now we, we what I did was each row that has SEO title is now going to have the string SEO title. And we'll see this shortly. And then we do have to run python manage.py migrate lessons. And it's going to go ahead and migrate it. So 
every time we make a change to our models, what I was trying to show you here, every time we make a change to our models, we have to run python manage.py make migrations. And then after we make migrations, you might be prompted to go ahead and um, change the, the one off on there, and that's fine. Or you can come in here and change it so it uh, can be null. Um, also, after you make your migrations, you gotta run migrate, so it injects it into the database. So the best way to think of this is, all right, you, you have a factory, and our factory is our, our models.py, and that's where we build something, and we're building a table, all right? In that table has a bunch of rows, so it's a bunch of um, products to go with our table, and then when we go to um, package up and ship out our, our table, um, we call on a partner called Make Migrations. And Make Migrations, what they do is come in and package up our product and they ship it out. And then Make Migrations ships it to Migrate. And what Migrate does is goes and installs our product at our client's place. And our client's place is the database. So what we're doing is we, the programmers or the developers, are building a um, product here, which is our table and fields and then what we're going to do is go ahead and take those table and fields and we're going to bundle them up with make migrations and then make migrations is going to send it to migrate and migrate is going to send it to the database and it's all one big long um, I shouldn't say long it's a quick process but one big long step every time you change your model you got to make migrations then you got to migrate and then your database is ready to go so if you have any questions about uh, migrating and making migrations, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to um, share the video. We'll see you in the next one.